Nightcrawler is a brilliant performance trapped in a not quite brilliant film. Jake Gyllenhaal, 30 pounds lighter, is Lou Bloom. Bloom is a psychotic in the guise of an enthusiastic entrepreneur. From the first encounter onward, we know this man is deeply disturbed. His eyes bug out. He speaks in a strange, over-polite, deliberate tone. His sentences seem to come from self-help books, but when he says, I'm bold, I'm persistent, I'm self-motivating, it's unnerving and almost scary. Bloom becomes a nightcrawler, that is, an amateur cameraman who chases murders, robberies, car accidents. The bloodier, the better. He then sells the footage to a local television station where the motto is, if it bleeds, it leads. The ruthless news director, played by Rene Russo, instructs Lou that the perfect story is a screaming woman with her throat cut running down a street in a good neighborhood. And Lou is happy to oblige. But soon enough, he starts to direct crimes and help improve them. For him, everything is a sale. Debutant director Dan Gilroy, who has also written the script, creates a purposefully nasty movie. Nightcrawler is a critique of American capitalism and media. Bloom is the logical product of a system designed to breed scavengers. Gyllenhaal is so effectively creepy that you can't look away. But ultimately, Nightcrawler is a one-note film. After the first hour, the plotting becomes casually grotesque. Gyllenhaal exerts perfect control, but the narrative slowly loses its tension. Still, Nightcrawler is worth seeing for Gyllenhaal. It's fascinating to watch an actor reinvent himself. I'm going with three stars. Subscribe to Film Companion on YouTube to get your film fix.